Hi, this is Tim Fargo, and I'm going to walk you through a little tutorial about a common problem that I see uh, with users who complain about how the system's working for them. Um, this isn't everyone, but I want to just share one particular problem that seems to come up pretty often, and I would call that the high repetition, uh, low quantity of posts problem. Um, and what happens is people end up posting the same content over and over and over and over again. Um, they don't get any results from it and then they think the tool is ineffective. Um, when in fact the tool can be highly effective um, but it's a matter of looking at how you use it and how your audience is going to be receiving that content. So just quickly, I'm, you know, I'm going to open this jukebox up here, the high repetition jukebox, and you know, it's said pretty often um, by different people on social media that everyone is their own media company now, right? So in that light, let's imagine that you are running a TV studio, and your TV studio broadcasts on whatever social media channels you're on, so Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. So and those are the three that we post to. So this particular account is um, that I'm showing you is a Twitter account and here there's five posts and I've got some tongue-in-cheek posts here. Are you bored my, by my awesome business? I'm not. That's why I post about it constantly um, and some others. So there's only five posts here. Now this is based on something that actually happened. A, a complaint I got from someone who told me the system wasn't working for them. So I investigated it and when I went in and looked at their account, they had five posts that they were sharing every hour. Um, and not each post every hour, but they were sharing one post out of a jukebox of five every hour. So basically repeating each post roughly um, you know, five times a day. So clearly your audience is going to get bored by this and going back to the you know you run your own media company if you turned on a TV channel and it was one commercial after another you wouldn't watch it and nobody wants to see a social media channel like that either so I'm showing this and you know and this is how it would be represented in the visual schedule so here you have all these posts just going out over and over and over again right um, and what I would encourage you to do um, is to add in other content. Now, this is a jukebox. It's like a test account of mine, um, Fun Alarm. And for instance, I have my new Mems jukebox, which is a project that I had worked on. And there's a lot of different posts and stuff in here. Um, so if I turn this on, right? I'm going to have a completely different kind of mix when I go to the visual schedule. So if I just um, get rid of, like here's the high repetition one, but here's new mems. And these go out super frequent, which um, if you know me, I, I post pretty heavily. Um, but what I would even recommend with all these other posts going out, I would still reduce the amount that this other jukebox is posting um, considerably. In fact, you know, I would probably go to um, scheduling it, let's say, once every th three hours. Sorry, three. Um, helps if I actually type in the right number. Um, and the reason is. You're, the level that you're going to promote yourself at, I mean, ultimately what you want to do is you want to put out content that's helpful for your audience. Um, and that content may be related to what you do, but it shouldn't be a commercial for you. Um, so, and when you, when you do it that way, let's say, for instance here, that the MEMS are the content that users like like and show up to retweet and, sh and share and, and enjoy um, and it might be helpful or whatever but it's the content that people show up to your feed um, for in general right so this is that level of content so it's like four posts roughly every hour and then so in this context 
now you've got a sprinkling in you're still repeating a few posts a day but there's so much other content in there with it it won't be nearly received in the same way so um, I hope my message here is clear um, this is the first video like this I've done so I'd love your feedback you can reach me at Tim at social jukebox.com but please let the helpful or entertaining content in your social media feeds dominate your posting when you do that you'll have a lot more people show up and the reality is people are tempted I think to share their promotional content more often in the hopes that someone will see it but the problem is when you share promotional content too frequently you scare your audience away and you won't have one you're just like a TV station that doesn't have any programs it only has commercials people show up for things that help them or entertain them and so on so just like you you know would imagine like I say like for a radio station or a TV station um, they've got to have programming that draws people in so that when they do run an ad there's actually someone sitting there to see it um, that's your same task is to make it interesting enough for the audience that they stick around and when you do want to promote what you're doing um, the audience will be there to see it so that's my recommendation again if you have any questions you can reach me at tim at socialjukebox.com thanks so much